The marketing mix. It's a combination of the four P's, product, price, promotion, and place. When we talk about product, we mean things like the quality of the product, the design, the packaging it's sold in, and the brand. Price not only refers to the retail price, but also any discounts. Do you accept payment plans? Are there any specific credit terms if the customer has to borrow money to buy your product? Promotion deals with any advertising. Personal selling. Are there salespeople? Public relations? Emails? Anything that gets the word out. Place. Do you have a retail location or a storefront? Do you deliver? Can the product be downloaded? Basically, all distribution methods. Let's say you want to sell hamburgers. Great, but first you need to know your target market. Who are you going to sell hamburgers to? Well, hello there. Your target market will affect your four Ps. In this case, you'll want a very high-end hamburger. Consider a product that features truffles, which are super expensive stinky mushrooms. Oh, that sounds delightful. You're going to have to charge a lot because your cost will be high. $25. A good promotion might be an advertisement in Fancy Pants Magazine. And a perfect place to sell the hamburger would be at the Polo Club. Okay, but what if we have a different target market? What about this guy? Peace, man. This marketing mix won't work for him. Consider a vegetarian burger. You won't be able to charge much. You may even have to loan him money. Thanks, dude including good karma fries, will encourage him to spread the word. And selling them in a public park would be a good idea. Okay, but what about this target market? Arr! Again, we should adapt the marketing mix. He spends a lot of time at sea, so waterproof packaging would be a good idea. He doesn't have any cash, but has plenty of goats on board. <laughs> Who doesn't love a free Viking helmet? Ooh. And you'll need to deliver. So there you have it, the four P's make up the marketing mix. Product, price, promotion, and place.